Meet Nina, a dedicated school teacher who's been facing an unrelenting battle against cluster headaches. We've explored the challenges she endures, from excruciating pain centered around her left eye to the disruptive watering and the toll it takes on her daily life. If you or someone you know resonates with Nina's struggle, stay right here, because relief is on the horizon. In this video, we unravel the intricate web of cluster headaches and unveil effective strategies that could hold the key to transforming not just Nina's life, but potentially yours too. Don't miss out, as hope and solutions await those who share in Nina's journey. Join us in a journey through the world of neurological challenges as we uncover the enigma of cluster headaches. In this video, we unveil the compelling story of Nina, a teacher whose battle with excruciating headaches takes a new twist. As we explore her case step by step, you'll witness the unveiling of a definitive diagnosis and a meticulously crafted management plan. Get ready to delve into the realm of triggers, preventive strategies, and the power of partnership in conquering the relentless grip of cluster headaches. Stay tuned for a transformational narrative that holds the key to unlocking relief and empowerment. I strongly advise you to watch the video through its entirety. It has been meticulously curated with significant dedication, and I am confident that it will offer substantial and enlightening information for both you and your dear ones. Hey, everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, let's delve into the intriguing case of Nina, a dedicated teacher who has encountered a series of distressing headaches that have now taken a new form, affecting her left eye and causing her considerable discomfort. As we walk through the process, step by step, you'll gain insight into how a thorough examination can lead to a conclusive diagnosis of a cluster headache. Our journey begins with a comprehensive exploration of Nina's medical history. In a compassionate and attentive manner, I engaged Nina in a dialogue, unraveling the chronology of her headaches. We discussed the nature of her pain, its intensity, triggers, and any associated symptoms. It was important to gather a holistic understanding of her condition, allowing us to pinpoint possible causative factors. Moving forward, a meticulous clinical examination ensued. By observing Nina's demeanor and reactions, I aim to decipher any physical manifestations or cues that could offer valuable diagnostic insights. The focus shifted to her left eye, an area of particular concern. The examination sought to unveil any observable abnormalities that might be linked to her symptoms. To provide a comprehensive evaluation, a series of blood tests were ordered. These tests play a crucial role in unveiling potential underlying factors that could contribute to Nina's condition. From inflammatory markers to hormonal imbalances, each test is a puzzle piece that contributes to the holistic diagnostic picture. Following a meticulous analysis of Nina's medical history, clinical observations, and blood test results, a definitive diagnosis emerged, cluster headache. This diagnosis shed light on the unique pattern of excruciating headaches that Nina had been experiencing. Cluster headaches often manifest with severe pain localized around one eye, and their recurrent nature corresponds with Nina's experiences. Nina expressed her curiosity to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the term cluster headache. Cluster headaches are very severe headaches, more so even than migraines. Healthcare providers consider both types of headaches primary headaches, rather than secondary headaches. The difference, primary headaches start because of a response from the part of the brain that communicates pain. A primary headache is its own health challenge, not part of a larger issue. Secondary headaches start because of another health condition. Several things can cause these headaches, including ear infections, nasal congestion, and dehydration. Cluster headaches can disrupt your life for weeks or even months at a time. They tend to follow a pattern, often showing up at the same time each day. They can also wake you up an hour or two after going to bed. These nighttime headaches may feel more severe than those during the day. Cluster headaches get their name from how they affect you. They come on in clusters, or groups, before temporarily going away for most people. Each headache tends to last 30 to 45 minutes, though some are shorter and some longer. You may experience up to 8 of these headaches within 24 hours. And this may happen for weeks or several months. 
then the clusters usually pause, for reasons that aren't yet understood. The headaches go into remission, go away, for months or years before returning. Some people never get much of a break, though. They experience chronic, ongoing, cluster headaches. This happens to about 1 in 5 people who get cluster headaches. Some people call cluster headaches suicide headaches. This name came from people taking their lives when experiencing a cluster headache or anticipating one. Unfortunately, some people feel like they have no hope with cluster headaches. But healthcare providers can help you with these headaches. Cluster headaches affect 1 out of every 1,000 people. That makes them less common than migraines, though some people get both types of headaches. Symptoms of cluster headaches usually start showing up between the ages of 20 and 40. Researchers once thought these headaches affected men more often. They now believe they affect men and women equally. Cluster headaches are also more common in people who smoke and frequently drink alcohol. Many people who get cluster headaches also have sleep apnea. Experts still don't know a lot about cluster headaches, including exactly what causes them. Cluster headache is a type of trigeminal autonomic cephalgia involving the hypothalamus, a brain structure of the autonomic nervous system and involve the first branch of the trigeminal nerve. The symptoms are severe side-locked pain, typically around and in the eye, tearing if you experience cluster headaches, you likely know the triggers. These are things that can start headaches or otherwise affect them. There are two ways to look at triggers, triggers that start a new cycle, round, of headaches, most people go months or years between cluster headache periods. When headaches start again, the shift often appears tied to changes in seasons. The connection leads people to think they have allergies or sinusitis. It may happen because of suspected ties between cluster headaches and the hypothalamus. This part of your brain contains your circadian clock, a built-in schedule that responds to sunlight. During headache periods, the blood vessels in your brain change. These changes make you more sensitive to alcohol and nicotine. Drinking just a little alcohol can bring on a headache. Smoking can also make headaches feel worse or trigger a headache. Cluster headaches tend to have very recognizable symptoms. When symptoms set in, it usually only takes 5 to 10 minutes for them to reach their worst. Common symptoms include one-sided head pain and other symptoms involving the eye, nose, and skin on the same side as the pain. Pain from cluster headaches has a few notable features, often described as a burning or piercing feeling. Lasts 15 minutes to 3 hours at a time. Typically felt on the same side of the head in the current cycle, rarely may switch in the future. Always centered behind one eye but can spread over the affected side's forehead, temple, nose and gums. Can make you feel like you can't sit still and need to pace, unlike the relief lying down provides for migraines. Cluster headaches may also cause congestion, your nose may run or become stuffy only on the side of the headache eye problems, you may experience a drooping eyelid, eye pain or a watering eye. Your pupil, black center of the eye, may also look smaller. These symptoms appear on the same side of the head as headache pain. Face changes, you may start sweating and your face may become flushed on the side of the headache. Are there warning signs for cluster headaches? You may experience slight discomfort or a burning feeling on one side of your head just before a cluster headache. But cluster headaches often come on fast, so these signs don't leave much time to prepare. How are cluster headaches diagnosed? To diagnose a cluster headache, a healthcare provider will need to thoroughly check you. Neurologist will rule out other problems that can cause headaches. You'll likely need to have imaging done, such as an MRI or CT scan. How are cluster headaches treated? Unfortunately, there is no cure for cluster headaches. But you do have treatment options that can make them a little less painful. Treatment options include, often, a headache will stop before you have a chance to see a healthcare provider. But if you get there in time, there are several effective ways to stop a cluster headache. A healthcare provider may give you injected medications or a nasal spray. These include sumatriptan, dihydroergotamine, and zolmatriptan. The provider may also give you oxygen through a mask. Prescription medications can shorten a headache cycle. They can also make the headaches less severe. 
calcium channel blockers, verapamil, lithium carbonate, devalproic sodium, melatonin or topiramate may help. What else can I do for cluster headaches? Some alternative therapies may provide relief from cluster headaches, including acupuncture, an ancient Chinese treatment, acupuncture uses small needles. They're inserted into your skin at various points to relieve pain. Physiotherapy, treatment focuses on stretching, moving joints and massaging. Spinal manipulation, this chiropractic adjustment adjusts the alignment of your spine. What can I do to prevent cluster headaches? The best way to prevent cluster headaches is to avoid triggers such as drinking and smoking. Also, if you suspect you have sleep apnea, get it treated. The sleep condition appears tied to cluster headaches in some way. What can I expect if a doctor says I have cluster headaches? Your healthcare provider will work with you to find a treatment. Your treatment plan may include medications and other therapies. Make sure to follow your healthcare provider's recommendations for the most effective relief. When should I see a doctor for a cluster headache? If you suspect you have cluster headaches, reach out to a neurologist to confirm the diagnosis and to exclude other causes that may mimic headache. You do not have to be in the midst of a cluster to be seen by a specialist to be diagnosed. Everyone gets headaches from time to time, for various reasons. But cluster headaches are no ordinary headaches. If you experience severe headaches in a pattern, talk to your healthcare provider. You could have cluster headaches and can get treatment for this painful condition. With a definitive diagnosis of cluster headache in hand, Nina and I embarked on a journey toward effective management. Our focus now shifted to developing a comprehensive plan that not only addressed her acute pain but also aimed to prevent and minimize the recurrence of these debilitating attacks. Our first step involved delving into the triggers that could potentially exacerbate Nina's cluster headaches. Through a collaborative discussion, we identified common triggers like certain foods, alcohol, strong odors, and changes in sleep patterns. Nina's active participation in identifying triggers was crucial in tailoring her management plan. To mitigate the risk of triggering a cluster headache, I recommended that Nina make specific dietary adjustments. Minimizing the consumption of trigger foods and beverages, such as aged cheeses, processed meats, and alcohol, could play a pivotal role in reducing the frequency and severity of attacks. We delved into the importance of maintaining a consistent sleep schedule. Nina learned that irregular sleep patterns could potentially trigger cluster headaches. Establishing a sleep routine and ensuring adequate rest became integral aspects of her management plan. Given the cyclical nature of cluster headaches, we explored the significance of maintaining regular routines, even during symptom-free periods. Exposure to natural sunlight, particularly during the day, can aid in stabilizing the body's internal clock and potentially alleviate the intensity of attacks. Engaging in regular exercise emerged as a powerful tool in managing cluster headaches. Nina discovered that physical activity could contribute to improved circulation, stress reduction, and a potential reduction in the frequency of attacks. We delved into stress management strategies, emphasizing mindfulness, deep breathing exercises, and progressive muscle relaxation. Nina recognized that these techniques could act as shields against the triggers associated with stress-induced attacks. Nina was introduced to biofeedback and cognitive behavioral therapy CBT, as potential strategies to enhance her coping mechanisms. These techniques could empower her to better regulate her body's response to stressors and reduce the likelihood of cluster headaches. In some cases, preventive medications might be considered. Nina and I discussed medications that could help reduce the frequency and intensity of cluster headaches. We weighed the benefits and potential side effects, ensuring that Nina was well informed and actively involved in decision making. Throughout this journey, Nina's active involvement and commitment were instrumental. Our partnership was centered on continuous communication, regular follow-up appointments, and adjustments to her management plan based on her individual responses. In conclusion, Nina's personalized cluster headache management plan integrated dietary adjustments, lifestyle modifications, stress management techniques, and potential medication options. By addressing triggers, optimizing routines, and fostering a holistic approach, Nina was empowered to navigate her path toward relief and regain control over her well-being.
So there you have it, dear viewers. Mina's journey to overcome cluster headaches demonstrates the importance of seeking professional help when dealing with severe headaches. With the right diagnosis, personalized treatment plan, and dedication, relief is possible. If you found Mina's story helpful or know someone experiencing similar headaches, be sure to share this video with them. Before we wrap up, I want to express my sincere gratitude for your time and attention. Creating this video was a labor of love, with the aim of providing you with valuable insights and knowledge. Your engagement means the world to me. Remember, the journey we've explored here is just the beginning. The path to understanding, growth, and empowerment is ongoing. So, I encourage you to support me and do subscribe Eat Pray Lift channel and stay connected. By doing so, you'll gain access to a continuous stream of enriching content designed to support and inspire you. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Together, we're embracing knowledge, fostering positive change, and shaping a brighter, more informed future. Until next time, take care and stay curious. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos that inform and inspire. Until next time, stay headache-free and keep smiling.